Hey, 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 everyone. hey, welcome to the patch. Patch episode 100. Look, oh, brought crap. to you. My poppers. I forgot. Go to get get them. Go get them. I, I, <laughs> oh, that's right. It's 100. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stall and vamp here while we wait for well, Mike to go do that. By... Brought to you by Crunchyroll and Nature Box. Crunchyroll, Nature Box. Boop boop. Uh, Look, my hands are apparently not shiny. They put makeup on my they hands. They put makeup on your hands. Apparently my hands are whiter than any other part of me. I should have been a hand model. They're so immaculate. Why right. did you so look weird? We have uh, Gus, Meg, and uh, Ryan this Hi. week. Hi. I'm watching Meg get her poppers ready. She's reloading. Oh, God. People have been touching these. So, um, this is a, the 100th episode of The Patch. Wow. Believe it or not. After How all exciting! Oh. No, not in your face! Oh my god! <laughs> you know that I've already done that one? Hey! Hey, there we go. Happy hundred. Aww. Do it up! There was one more. What are you more. shooting at me for? Uh, Why not you? So, uh... You should take it the been These are all loaded. Almost two years just, of video game oh. news. Alright. Hey. Yay! Oh, my god! <laughs> I feel like it's snowing. Okay. Um, Every time what you what agree with something on the patch, just, just shoot it. give it a shot. Two, 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 six, shoot it. Hey, come on. What? Come on. Be cool. <laughs> Racist. Um, <laughs> so this week, what's going on? Mortal Kombat. Mortal yes. Kombat. Oh, the that's big true. news. There's so and much. GTA 5 PC. We'll get to that. But I okay. feel like there's just so much different news about Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Like, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I, I don't, I don't want to like gloss over all of it. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk it through. We're gonna talk through it. First of all, they had a bit of a hiccup when it came to their PC release. A bit. So I guess they were gonna do a a staggered release where people could download the first three gigabytes, which then set up a launcher for the P, for to allow them to download mm -hmm. the rest of the game. Except it didn't work right. Mm -mm. So people could download the first three gigs, but until I think afternoon of the game, uh, the afternoon of the day the game came out. PC users could still not access any of the other parts. Unless they went through this really convoluted system that included going to the DLC listing, and then the install packs were listed as DLC Look, pieces. it was a metagame. They just gave you the <laughs> opportunity to, I mean, that's what the PC community is all about, is working, creatively working around problems. Right. They Look gave at... them an opportunity to discover a workaround. Look at how much DLC we gave you already. <laughs> you are a glass half full kind of guy today when it comes to talking about PC, aren't you? <laughs> it's, it's all coming up roses for the PC. I mean, the game is there. Yeah. You could play it. It was the first time you were allowed to get it, or they were able to get it on the day that the console version was released, so that was exciting. That's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, they, they did have some great DLC, like 30 easy fatalities for four ninety nine. dollars oh, Well, that's not sad. on Steam. That's only on Xbox and PlayStation. Yeah, because you guys are wussies. <laughs> wow. Yeah. wow. Look As at that. As of when I wrote the story yesterday, it was not available on Steam. Wow. And you could buy like individual fatalities for 99 cents Five. or something? Five. Five lame. for 99 cents. Wow. Really? How many yeah, times do you so have to lame. use it? Except for that you can do that without paying real world, world money as well. I guess if you do well enough in the game, you get tokens that allow you to unlock easier so fatalities. So if you're really good at the game, it makes the game easier for you. Or if you're lame. You know what? I, I'm okay with that. If you've actually established that you're good enough at the game that you probably could just do the fatality key combo without trying, then sure, you can do the easy version. Yeah. I'm okay with that. But I'm not okay with, it's too hard, so I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> like, uh, it sounds like like a snotty cousin at Christmas I, that was, kicks your ass. I was going to say, like, are you doing an impression of me? Because <laughs> that sounded like me. <laughs> Not like you at all. <laughs> um, and, uh, we learned a little bit about Gus's self-image there, didn't we? <laughs> The other bit of news was the um, MMA fighter mm -hmm. who s claims that the Cassie Cage character is a ripoff of her. Right. And she's been claiming this for a while. Her original post about it was back in January where she said something like, hey, someone just showed me this. Did they steal my image and or my likeness? And she just kind of seemed like bemused by it. The thing that was most convincing to me was the selfie fatality being Cassie's finishing move because uh, this girl... Felice, Felice Herrig. Herrig. Felice Herrig is known for taking selfies. She, if you go to her Instagram, it's an overload. Selfie city. It took me so long to find the original Mortal Kombat post that was three months ago. I was like scrolling, load more, scrolling, load more. She takes selfies like on stage at a weigh-in. She's like, that's like her <laughs> thing. Like she's, she takes selfies everywhere. So she's taking the selfie with a, a jawless dude. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> definitely. She definitely takes. She also chews bubble gum. 
Mm. Oh. I mean, I would make fun of this situation, but I'm afraid she would come over and beat me to death. <laughs> That's exactly what I said in my story. <laughs> like, she can kick everyone's ass. So I'm not going to tease her about this. It probably, well, I mean, the truth is a lot of video game content, a lot of any CG content draws inspiration from, I mean, the artist finds something in the real world to base it on. Um, yeah, it's when you cross the line there between an homage or a caricature into just like, oh, no, it's you. Yeah, I mm -hmm. just like you. I but it believe... wasn't you, Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Lohan. Lohan. <laughs> Miss Lohan. Don't so mess with the Lohan. Daughter of Lohan. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it made me think of, though, was like that damn peace sign girl that yeah. everybody thought was them. Kate yeah. Upton and Lindsay Lohan. It was definitely not Lindsay like, Lohan. Come on. Or Kate. I don't think it was either of them. No. No. Well, there was a woman <laughs> who was paid to pose for it, and she was like, I have the check over it's, here it's is me, me. Yeah. i promise it's me yeah oh all you attractive women and your similar looks are you are you having a stroke today <laughs> you're, you're having uh, trouble with words similar? i always you don't oh, know that that's my that thing. thing like i never can talk <laughs> that's that's kind of my stick normally you got it together on the patch you're kind of frazzled yeah, you're I don't a little, know, yeah. <laughs> no I just, yeah, I just came back from vegas i'm like uh i can't imagine you in vegas yeah, it's about what you would imagine me doing in Vegas. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm a dad, and my kids and wife stayed here, so I got some great sleep. Uh, I ate a lot of food without anybody complaining at the restaurant. <laughs> Life was great. I see that you already cashed in on the Katawa Shoujo, like being nice to your wife. So now you're like, all bets are off. <laughs> oh man, um, well, that's okay. I, she, she gets to sleep in whenever she goes to her like continuing education thing because she's a doctor and they have to learn. Mm -hmm. I never get that excuse. So you use Vegas. I use you Vegas. Use I feel like anytime I go to Vegas for uh, an event. Like if I'm in there for like a video game event, I always have to elaborate. Like cab driver will be like, "What are you here for?" Like, "Oh, for a video game thing, not a gambling thing." Because if, if you say yeah. like video game in in Vegas, everyone assumes like a video poker, like a slot machine, or video poker. Yeah. It's like no, no, like an Xbox or a PlayStation. And they're like, "Oh, okay. serious gaming." <laughs> Excuse yeah. me. No, no money involved. Where yeah, where money is not on the line, <laughs> unless you want to buy thirty fatalities for. <laughs> <$4 .99. laughs> That would suck if like there was another option where it's like you could try to buy it for ninety nine cents, but it didn't work every time. Like a little like the oh, little like yeah. slot machine. Yeah. Um, uh, speaking also of Mortal Kombat, there was a the very not the very first. Who take a step back? But there was a tournament. Um, the the ESL just brought Mortal Kombat X out, and they did a tournament this past weekend, and a seventeen year old one. He's so adorable. You look like you're, you're going to explode with happiness. He's so cute. It was like They're a 17-year-old so and a 19-year-old. I'm like, these kids. Oh. oh, so cute. And at the end of it, these kids ripped the heart out of somebody, oh, yeah. right? I mean, come on. No, it was he swept in the finals. And uh, I feel like it's even worse when it's like, not only did I just beat you for money, but I'm going to rub your face in this fatality that I'm mm. going to do. Like, we were talking about these fatalities earlier. It, this has gotten kind of weird with Mortal Kombat because there are characters that you can play that are related. Right. Right. Like, like parental figures and children. Yeah, like, uh, like Cage Cassie can... Like Cage. Yeah, she, her father can rip her heart out with a fatality. Yeah, and, and rip her in half and... Or rip her in half. Yeah, yeah it's, that's weird, right? Uh, well, I mean... That's crossed a, a it, certain border there. It's like, there's also, I mean... There were, there were always multiple it's, Kangs, right? There was like Liu Kang. Well, it's definitely weird because also I think like some of the the banter and the back and forth they have before the match is like kind of friendly. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, and hey, now... Dad, thanks for packing my lunch. No problem, baby. Ooh. <laughs> You entered the Mortal Kombat. You knew what this was. The best part of this is you're bringing it up. Like, do you think it's weird? Gus was the one who was like, I think it's weird. And you were like, sometimes you want to rip out a kid's heart. Like, you were the one who was all on board for it. I'm not even a, I'm not even a, a real human parent. I just have pets. I just have animals. <laughs> you you, uh, you apparently have a whole different level of experience. Uh, yes, I have two children. They're different than pets. That enter Mortal Kombat. I can, can, can confirm, different than pets. <laughs> the thing I love about... Well, whatever. I don't want to. I don't want to get into <laughs> it about like pets and kids. Um, you can leave a pet home alone and not, oh, yeah. and not, true. And not get can. in trouble. Uh, I mean, you can put the kids in a cage, a crate, or a cage, or whatever. But uh, suddenly, that people get all upset. But they won't. They won't remember for like the first year, right? Oh no, no, no! You can do pretty much whatever for the first three years. You're fine. <laughs> first three years. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anybody out there? Don't do that. <laughs> Aww. Oh, I feel like I have to put a disclaimer yeah. on that because, you know, it's the internet. You never know who's going to take it as a joke. Your babies are in cages. We know. Oh, no, no, absolutely. It's the safest place for them. <laughs> it's only the highest They're, quality it's called, I call them a crib, but, I mean. Cage. A baby jail. All the, the only difference between a crib and a cage is the cage has a top. <laughs> 
Ooh, crib has a top. No, it doesn't. No, no, it's open. That way you can grab then the baby. Then it would be a cage. Oh, you mean like an open top? Yeah. I was thinking, like, I get you, you meant like a what solid you top, and put... I meant like an open top. Maybe I'm your parents kept about you in a cage, <laughs> and we're just learning something here like on set. Like a crib, an open, I meant, oh, like, in my head, uh -huh. open was in parentheses. You know, a normal crib with a lock, and you pee in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and the baby pads, you know, the baby pads. Uh, so is this karma just for me talking about you having a stroke earlier? <laughs> Oh, okay. Back on topic. Yes. Right. <laughs> um, so, I haven't played. More, I, haven't, I was gonna say Mortal Kombat. I haven't played World of Warcraft in a while, but they have a feature in the upcoming 6.2 patch that I'm really interested in. I think they called it time walking. Yeah, time walking mode, where if you're a max level character, you can go back and play older content, and it scales your gear and your skills down as if you were level appropriate for that content. Huh. So it's nostalgia mode. Right. It's total nostalgia mode to go back and play, you know, some older classic content that maybe gets passed over a lot more quickly now. And I was looking through the list and I was like, oh, yeah, I would love to play some of this stuff again. <laughs> it's like my greatest hits from you know, when I was, you know, really into World of Warcraft. What are they? So it's uh, Architras, Black Morass, Mana Tombs, Shattered Halls, Slave Pens. I never know how to say this one. Ankahet, The Old Kingdom, Gundrak, Hall of Lightning, The Nexus, and Utgard Pinnacle, also known as UP. UP. Um, so I, I think it's pretty cool to, to go back. And then it's a good way for them to seemingly add more content right. without yeah. actually having to add more content. It's just like the game just has to do some math to scale you down. And it's like, ooh, look at all this fun you're having. <laughs> <laughs> it's like re-gifting on a they, birthday. Yeah, they <laughs> like, sort of just... <clears throat> Oh, yeah, here you go. Mm -hmm. You enjoyed that when you were little. Here you go. <laughs> they Nintendoed it. They HD remade it. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, well, I guess they're not selling it, though. They just added it in. Yeah, you've them. already bought it. Yeah. They're just giving you the... Yeah, you're always giving them your money. You've already <laughs> bought everything they're going to do. They just established a funnel. It just comes right out of your account. I haven't played in so long, and I got an email this morning about having given them my $15 or whatever for the month. Are you still uh, paying for a yes, subscription? Yes, I am. Because at some point, I will use it. <laughs> It doesn't go away. They say those I characters know. forever. Just shut it off. I know. I'm still paying, too. Thank you. <laughs> because one night I'm going to be like, you know what? I will play. And then I'll be happy I have it. Do you have it downloaded? Yes. Okay. Right. Got it on the... I mean, I played it that... Re it's not like five years ago. You keep to patch, things though. installed for longer than five years that you're not playing? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, also in the upcoming patch, they're going to have the ability to build ships. So I guess it's like to access one of the new zones. So you, you can only sail? access by ocean, and um, and you have to build your own ship. You Give to, me a ship, you lazy bitches. Uh, so access. So it's this new zone. Access to the zone is unlocked by constructing a shipyard. Uh, to begin your journey, report to your garrison and accept the war council quest. Ew. So I guess Wait, you, so you have to have your own shipyard. So you have, yeah. you have to have a garrison. It's one of the more recent features they introduced. And then you can unlock the ability to add a shipyard to your garrison. You need a level three garrison in order to be able to add the shipyard. That and like it that. says naval. Uh, so then you build ships in your shipyard and dispatch them on new naval missions. Naval missions are still early in development. More information will be added as it becomes available. So All right. So you can get a boat. Yes. <laughs> cool. Uh, you, didn't, you didn't seem excited at all. No. Can you go anywhere? You go to the, you new, go zone. To the new zone. So you just build a boat, and does it just take you to the new zone, or do you well, have well, some kind of sailing? You can also or? send naval missions. Right, you can send your garrison on naval missions. Oh, it's Black Flag, I, I get it. I listened to the quote you did. Yeah, I literally oh. read everything. <laughs> you literally was like, here's what you can do, and you're like, well, what can you do? I mean, that doesn't explain it, though. Do, can you actually free sail? Is it just like, oh, I got a boat, oh, I I'm it. in the oh, new yeah, area. Yeah, probably I, I So why the hell are you... Just take a blimp. They've already got modes of transit that can <laughs> cross oceans. That's why I said, give me my... I don't want to build a boat. Just give me one. You know, when I first started playing World of Warcraft, the first character I ever rolled was a mage. Uh, and mages get, you know, a portal and teleport. So I never had to use the zeppelins to get anywhere. And I remember the first time I rolled my second character... I, it wasn't a mage. I think it was a... God, I think it was a rogue. But anyway, I, I remember being like, oh, shit. I actually don't know where the Zeppelins are in this game. <laughs> it's like I had to ask like a friend of mine, like, hey, I know this is a dumb question. By this point, the game had been out for like two or three years, you know. I was like, it's a dumb question, maybe, but where are the Zeppelins? Like, oh my god, what are you stupid? I'll never forget like accidentally bumping. I used to hold, you know how Numlock would like be auto run? Mm -hmm. And I'd get up and I'd be like, hey, here we go. And then go right off the other side of <laughs> the Zeppelin or like be doing something and like smack an arrow and be like, no! <laughs> you try very quickly to run back up and get there before it takes yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I remember. The, I remember those days fondly. But every when you're a mage, like everyone's your best friend, asking for a portal. It's like, hey, can you uh, give me a portal? Like, hey, what are you gonna give me? How yeah. early do you unlock that? I think you get a portal at you get teleport. I think at twenty, and I think portal at thirty. You made it to thirty without ever using. Yeah, a how did yeah you I just stayed in the in the starting zone. I, I rolled a troll, and I just stayed in um, oh, in Orgrimmar what... or like that area on Kalimdor, and I never had to go back to the other stuff. I just never? focused. All, I just focused all my quests mm. in that. In that area. Are some of the next, I mean, there's several blocks yeah, of quest leveling. But at 20, you can teleport yourself. Well, so it doesn't matter. The troll starting zone is on the same continent as Orgrimmar, right? Right. So, like, the hmm. rogue start, like, um, un Undercity is the rogue sort of, or hmm. not the rogue, the, the undead, undead starting zone. And that you have to take a Zeppelin to get to the other continent to go to Orgrimmar. Ah. Okay. Yeah, so I started on the continent. So with I, I was running out too. I'm like, wait a second, you got to take that zeppelin at like five. Like you run out of quests there <laughs> pretty me. quick. I was, a, I was a troll. Uh, I'm, I'm what was the max the level back I think in the are day? The, uh, that continent back in the day too. was sixty. Was it sixty? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. So I guess and you got your mount at forty. Yes. Yeah. The I remember the horse that was, was like that was a grind so to get that. So much damn running. Okay. <laughs> apparently, it, it, it must be different now because now it seems like the teleports unlock at seventeen. Oh, everything now is like, yeah. hey, you get a mount at one. <laughs> and like, I think the the druids like speed form comes much earlier. Oh, it does. And, like, yeah. Anything that gets you around, it's like, okay, we get it. You're tired of walking at five, you know, steps per hour. That that's a Boo. good change. Boo. No, I'm glad. Like, cause I remember, <laughs> like, as as a new player, when you're first starting, that's such a grind to get to the point. But when you do finally get your mount, you're able to move fast. You're like, oh my god, thank god. You I agree, only say but it boo. made me. I say boo because I feel like I worked so hard to get uh -huh. there, and also because I felt like when I started playing it, trying to pick it up again after like a couple year gap, I feel like, sir, we're good. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, there's no like. I don't feel like that. Ah. <sighs> did it. I feel like it just handed it to me and I'm like, oh, dang, I guess. I don't feel that excited about it. Yeah, but there's new goals to strive for. And you get there faster. <laughs> oh. I like that reaction. You uh, just want everyone to suffer like you suffer. <laughs> Back in my day, we had to walk uphill both ways to get our mounts <laughs> and it was in the snow. Boom! Oh, God! Time for a commercial! <laughs> Time for a commercial? You scared our reader! <laughs> She wasn't ready. <laughs> you gotta be ready. It's the fast-paced ad game. Uh, Crunchyroll was created by fans of anime for fans of anime. It offers the newest and most current episodes straight from Japan. They offer an unlimited collection of the most popular anime series, and it's all professionally subtitled. Go to crunchyroll.com slash the patch and sign up for premium to get a whole month of free anime ad-free. The world's finest collection of anime on Crunchyroll, free for 30 days with zero ads. Premium subscribers can stream all shows in beautiful HD quality, 1080p, Shows currently airing in Japan, such as Food Wars and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, are available to stream to premium Crunchyroll subscribers within an hour of premiering in Japan. With Crunchyroll Premium, watch anime anytime, anywhere, on all your devices, desktop, iPhone, Android, tablet, or through your TV through Xbox, PlayStation, Roku, Apple TV, and now on Wii U. Remember, go to Crunchyroll.com slash the patch and sign up for premium to get a whole month of free anime ad-free. The world's finest collection of anime on Crunchyroll, free for 30 days with zero ads. And zero stumbles, bitch. Nice. It was perfect. Yeah. You nailed it. Thank you. It's we, like you um, read things all day for a living. I know, right? <laughs> Speaking of World of Warcraft and Grungy Rule, uh, Sword Art Online, we talked about it last time. Mm -hmm. And I would would you log into World of Warcraft if you could never log out? No. Really? <laughs> I would totally and do it. And if you got killed, you would actually die. Okay, but not no. if you're in a town. Are you willing you to can't commit die to life? in a town. Are you willing to commit to this life? <laughs> Uh, like no. they, well, it's like it's not forever. It's just until somebody figures out how to log all of us out. You're, someone is giving you the opportunity right now to just, as far as you're concerned, your brain moves into World of Warcraft. PvP, PVE. Oh, it's PvP. It's baby. PvP. Uh, Which PvPVE? You gotta be all. You gotta go all in. No, I'd be scared. So I guess no? that's, the, that's the premise for Sword Art Online. Yeah, but you can stay that's in a it, town. Yeah. You can be one of those yeah, people who just you, hangs you out can, in a town. You can die in a town. No, but not in Sword Art. You can't. Okay, okay. I was going to say in World of Warcraft. You, you have to be like engaged. It's like a duel, basically. Okay. You got to be like engaged in combat. Even then, I don't town. think you could die in a town. I think Though you there can. Was, there was an episode. Right. Somebody dies was, in a town. It was centered around that. But. Spoiler. <laughs> it's early on. Don't worry. Okay. Well, this is the sort the original Sword Art art series is only twelve episodes, and then there's well, and it, then, it, then you it, got Gun Gale, and then you got Phantom uh, something. Oh, I haven't. Is, are you talking about like the manga or 
No, they're, they're actually the actual anime? anime series now. Well, because the... It, it did continue in the manga, but they've caught up to it with the anime. Sword Art is like it changes over in the middle of season one to like a different MMO that's not as cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm looking it up. There's a, a lot of different versions of it's this. It's actually a really cool premise. Hmm. Although it gets real creepy and then it just takes a left turn to Albuquerque. But at the beginning, very cool. Well, cool. And it's happening soon in uh, real life. And you, I, I'll stay away. But you can check it out <laughs> for free for 30 days. So that's the thing is you don't know when it's going to happen. And like, that's, yeah. these people are all if, logged in like, ooh, something new. And then boom, locked in. What if this in. is it? What if this is the MMO? Like, I'm <laughs> the in MMO is the <laughs> patch. <laughs> and, I, and I'm just stuck here. I, I have to talk about video game news <laughs> nonstop for the rest of my life. I have this really <laughs> irrational fear that whenever I, when I was young in department stores and there'd be like a light burned out somewhere i'd be like and i was by myself like looking for my mom whatever be like maybe i'm stuck in the twilight zone <laughs> and i'm never gonna find my mom and i'm gonna be in this stupid Just store forever. forever what kind of kid has that thought <laughs> What were you consume? What kind of entertainment did you watch? She doesn't want to get put back in the cage. <laughs> That's why they had the top. They're worried you're going to wander <laughs> off. They didn't, just didn't want the aliens to take her. It was monster protection. It was it's like awesome. you totally spin it another way. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. They cared about me enough to have a top of my career. <laughs> um, so, not related to caging babies. Um, I saw that Mario Kart 8 is getting some Animal Crossing DLC. Heck yeah, it is. And you can play, you'll be able to play as the Villager and Isabel. And Dry, uh, dry Bones. Dry Bowser. Dry Bowser. Dry Bowser, yes. Dry I, Bowser? I don't know why they picked Isabel. So long, Dry Bowser. Like, Villager makes sense. If I'm going to pick another person, I would pick, like, Tom Nook. I know, right? Shut up. No, it's not <laughs> <any> you. <laughs> he's the one who plays the guitar. Tom, Tom Nook's the, uh, the store, no, the store the owner. Uh, he's oboe? a store owner. The shopkeeper. Yeah, no Wait, oboe. but there's a... Oh, does he actually play an oboe? No. Oh, yeah. oh, he's oh just damn it. With you. He's just <laughs> fucking I'm like, you. there's a dog who plays a guitar. <laughs> that's, um... That's, um... Something... What? KK. KK. KK Slider, right? Yeah. yeah. I really wanted to play Animal Crossing on my trip to England, and I have... Somebody gave me a, the game. I don't know where the damn cartridge is, and I was too proud to buy it again. Because <laughs> I was like, I know as soon as I buy it, I'll find the cartridge. I own it. It's somewhere. So I don't, now I didn't get to you play buy it. it. They return it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I, I feel like I have a lot of fond memories and nostalgia for Animal Crossing, but I couldn't pick it back up again. Well, what about Mario Kart 8? Like, I'm excited about 200cc. You know, 200cc seems fun. Mario Kart 8 didn't grab me as much. You know, I, I, I'm an old man. I like Super Nintendo Mario Kart, and I like Mario Kart 64. Fair enough. Uh, once, you know, they started doing, like, Double Dash stuff with the GameCube, I was not a Double Dash fan, and I kind of, like, got a little sour on the Mario Kart series. Although the 7, I thought, was pretty good. But, I don't know. Just 8, I didn't I didn't grab it. See, I really liked 8. I think 8 has sucked. It's the first one to suck me back in since Mario Kart 64. Like, Mario Kart 64 is probably the pinnacle of the Mario Kart series yeah. for me. And then... Eight is still really, really solid. I really enjoy it. So solid, the battle shells. What? <laughs> okay, and now I, I actually think you might be. You have a stroke. stroke. Um, That's yeah. a running joke I have with the Chimonar because I always yeah. call the the spiky shells battle shells. Battle. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't hear you. I heard bat your bat shells. Not, not, <laughs> I was like, not. What are you saying? Right, you think you said battle shells, but bop, I might bop, 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 came out. Just bop, bop. Um, I don't even know. I like. I, I remember when I was you know younger. I got Mario. Uh, cart on the SNES and I have no idea why like I got it when it was new you know there, it's not like people were talking about it and I it's not like there were reviews like literally I think I was at the store and parents like you can have a game I was like oh this one looks cool and like it seems like such a weird premise to like look at not knowing anything about the series you know when it's brand new and then jumping in and be like wow this game's really fun mm -hmm. to be and fair there were a lot less options back when the original were. Mario Kart came out yeah I think for the SNES I owned of course Super Mario World uh, A Link to the Past and uh, Mario Kart 64. I'm sorry, Mario Kart. Uh, <laughs> wow, you're playing 64 in a time SNES. traveler. And I Almost might have had Pilot Wings. Although, I can't remember if I had Pilot Wings or if my neighbor had Pilot Wings and I stole it from him. Pilot Wings? You were a thief. <laughs> borrowed it. Borrowed it. Yeah, okay. Long-term borrow. Yeah. I had a F-Zero. It was one of the, like, uh, the big... I mean, obviously, I had those Donkey Kong Country, great think, SNES game. So, uh, Pilot Wings was a launch title for SNES, mm -hmm, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And F-Zero was up there, too. It was one mm -hmm. of the first games available. Mine came with Super Mario World. It was like the mm -hmm. bundle. Mm -hmm. Did they all come with it? I think they Back all did. Back in the day, yeah. 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 That you used to get a game when you bought a console. Yeah. 
But now, now lots of times they give you you get game. It's not in now launch it's like window. A Walmart bundle. Maybe you'll get a title, but yeah, not always. Yeah, that's true. It's not like a flagship title that ships. No, with it's, it. it's usually not until well after the console's out for a while. It's probably, that you get a bundle. It's like a year typically. It seems mm -hmm. like. I also got recently because I've been trying to rebuild my SNES collection. I got the Tiny Toons game. There's two Tiny Toons games, and I <laughs> tried to play it. It's insanely hard. Like I'm like I don't know. As a kid, I. Did this? I did. What am I supposed to do? Like, there's no instruction. I'm just supposed to infer what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. It's very hard. Obviously, you didn't watch the cartoon enough. If you did, you should, uh, you know, know exactly what you I should do. I got so mad trying to play that <laughs> game. I was like all excited. It came in. I'm like, here we go. This is way too hard. Is there a character selection? Are you playing maybe the wrong one? Are you no. playing Buster when you should be playing? I was, yeah. Uh, I was playing Buster, and I'm trying to get out of the, How many this tiny dog's tunes can way you name right now. Oh, there's. Well, Buster and okay. that's the Bugs Bunny Babs analog. Babs is the girl. Babs is the girl. Yeah. Um, let's hold on because I know the song. How about the duck? <laughs> uh, oh, oh shit! This is so. I used to watch this cartoon like religiously. It's relevant because it's, like, it's a game. I can't, right? I can't name. I, I can only Dizzy, name those two. Is Dizzy the Tasmanian Dizzy, Devil guy? I believe so. Yeah. Oh, I've forgotten that. Um, Plucky. Plucky's the duck. Yeah. All oh, right. Uh, and then there's the guy who like always who's weird, the alien. Um. I'm going to sing the song while we I talk forget, more about video games. The and then I'll... You, I think you've already I, named all the ones that I could have named. The, uh, the only one other one I think of is uh, Elmira. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, Elmira or Elvira? Myra. Myra. She loved animals, yeah. so she would squeeze them. I call my wife Elmira when she's like, <laughs> <laughs> when she's like loving our dogs oh, to death. Yeah. No, I feel that way, and the cat's like, let me go. And I'm like, I love you. Is she had that little skull. <laughs> yeah, and the bow. Um, the bow thing, yeah. Yep. Um... Yeah, I, 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 like what's funny cast. is I couldn't think of like you said the duck, and I couldn't imagine Plucky until he said Plucky. I was like, and then it's like it instantly popped. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's gonna drive me nuts. What that stupid little twisty alien is? He was like the weird one. Twisty alien. Uh, yeah, back in the day, games used to be really hard. Uh, they didn't mess around. <laughs> yeah, you were lucky if you could save it too. Yeah, like you think about you know some of the the classic games people always talk about, like Ninja Turtles on the NES. Or was Ninja Gaiden. Hard. God, Ninja Gaiden was those hardest. games were rough. Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden had no continues and no saves, right? Like you just had to play it. I guess to be fair, it's still really hard. I mean, that's not an easy game depending on what skill level you're on. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you could at least save now. Yeah, I don't think your first two you could. Uh, that was back when maybe you got a code, so you'd have to get uh, Nintendo Power and hope they had codes in it. Right. I played um, Joe and Mac recently. There's no saves. Joe and Mac. <clears throat> Joe and Mac on the SNES. Um, you're two cavemen. The thing that's really annoying is like friendly fire is on, so you have these things that you throw, and the screen is too small. It's not big <laughs> enough for the both of you. Um, but anyway, you'll get two restarts if you lose all your lives, like uh -huh. continues, and then you have to get to the end of the game. There's no saves mm -hmm. whatsoever. So you get like all the way to the last boss, which is ridiculously hard, and then you screw up, and like you'd have to go all the way back to the beginning. Oh, uh, I just remembered, like, I think the, the pinnacle for me was like ghosts and goblins. Yeah. Fuck everything about that Horrible. game. I mean, amazing game, but horrible, like horribly brutal. Yeah, I love that game. I have very fond memories of it, but that game is unforgiving. Um, and I, I, I don't think I ever finished that game. I think if you do finish it, it tells you you have to replay the whole game again immediately. <laughs> and then you have to replay and then beat it a second time to actually get the ending. It seems like uh, the most masochistic game in the world. Or yeah, the most the sadistic used to game. really hate the game players well maybe they just wanted to like stretch out the value of the game and, that's like, true make it worth more you definitely had to put a lot of time into it if you wanted to see the ending i don't i don't remember that was the thing when i i don't remember really playing games for the ending when i was younger it was just playing it for the it's more like playing things on the the i mobile devices now it's you just play the game for the experience of the playing not mm -hmm. necessarily for the end point hmm. the, the first time i remember thinking i was going to try to beat a game uh, was Defender on the Atari 2600. I don't think that game has an end. You know, it was like that was still early <laughs> enough where it's like the game just loops over and over. Uh -huh. And I remember like spending like a whole weekend playing it, then just finally reaching, like uh -huh. having a really good run finally where I'm just playing, playing, then having that realization like, oh, this game doesn't actually it's ever end. never going to. Right, like you just keep going. I think he, now that I think about it, the lack of save files is probably <clears throat> what made me approach games that way because it was... One of those things where I was pretty sure I was never going to have enough time in one sitting to play all the way through it. And I wasn't that great, especially at things like Ninja Turtles. It, I mean, I'd get very far in the game, but when I had to turn it off, I had to turn it off and then had to do it all over again. So it was more about just having fun than seeing what the end was like.
That's true. I guess on SNES, they were always like, I just remember my brothers being like, here we go. We're going to beat it. <laughs> so, that was like a big thing to do. According to at Jason MB on Twitter, the alien's name is Go-Go. Go-Go. I have no memory of Go-Go. That doesn't ring a bell for me. I'll uh-uh. show you a photo of him. Me neither. Because I've been looking and I finally just gave up. I think that's probably he didn't show up all that often. He was a fairly he was like rare this character. Weird little... No one wanted to write for Gogo. <laughs> I got the main four. I'm pretty happy about that. I yeah, I, I could not have done that. This one, this little green dude. Oh, that guy. The little. Green oh yeah, guy. he was crazy. As... He was weird, and he had like a weird. The dodo. Yeah, he's a dodo. Oh, maybe that's uh-huh. it. Gogo, Go-Go the, dodo? the dodo. It yeah. might be. That makes sense. It's like it keeps with their naming system. <laughs> um. All right, anyway, enough, uh, <laughs> enough tiny back, 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 <laughs> back on to the, uh, the video game topic. Um, I don't know if you saw, someone did a side-by-side comparison of mm-hmm. Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, versus uh, Ground Zeroes, showing, because I guess The Phantom Pain takes place nine years after Ground Zeroes, so showing like the differences in the Snake character, as well as the differences in the, uh, the graphics for each One game. is ridiculously yeah. dark. Oh, One stands that, in the light, the other does not. On that TV, you can see it. This TV's just oh, like, yeah, so this dark, TV's so dark, you can't see it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it looks like. One is a man of shadow, the other of light. Uh, but looking at the, the Phantom Pain screenshot, you can tell that it's uh, a lot more like high fidelity. There's a lot more mm-hmm. going on there and uh, a lot more scars. Yeah, but it still looks snake. pretty true to... It still looks super comparable. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, I, I would never have thought to compare them side by side. Uh, so I'm glad someone else did. So I see like, <laughs> oh, yeah, the games actually look really good. I, I You know, I'm a huge Metal Gear fan. I played Ground Zeroes, but I feel like I didn't play Ground Zeroes enough. Like, I, I feel like when it came out, like it came out too far ahead of the Phantom Pain. So I played it and I finished it. I was like, okay, that's fun. I'm going to put that away until the Phantom Pain is closer. Then I'm going to, you know, replay it and play the shit out of it over and over to get me ready for uh, the Phantom Pain release. And I'll put that away. I like yeah. that you said, you're like, oh, that's a cupcake. I'm going to have it. that later. Yeah, I actually put it I, in the fridge. I have not <laughs> uninstalled it for my Xbox One. It's oh. like still there and it's still pinned. So I still see it all the time. I'm like, I'm saving you for Is later. Is it like a reminder? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember, note to self, play Phantom. Ground Zero. Ground Zero. I, I will not have need to write a reminder to pl- uh, play Phantom Pain. I wonder if I should go Why back you just pin it? and repay. I have. I said I pinned it. <laughs> the other one. I thought you Phantom said. Phantom Pain. Which one are we talking about Ground now? Zeroes. <laughs> oh, well. Phantom Pain's not out yet. I'm confused. Jesus, get your shit together, right? I don't know. Um, Andale! No! <laughs> <laughs> I like how you instantly have to cover your drink. I didn't even think about that. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm wondering if I should go back and play Metal Gear Solid 4 or any of the older games. I think well, I'll I mean, do that. Are you completionist or you just want to be like a, you know, I want to, I want to a tourist. refresh the confusing story. Uh, probably a walkthrough would be better for that than trying to play it. Somebody should do a, like a wrap up. Like I watched before Game of Thrones started. Like, here's everything you know, but you forgot that you know. Mm-hmm. Someone should do that for you. Maybe. I, I'm sure there will be a bunch of YouTube right. videos that are summing it up. Maybe the patch should make one. <gasps> Maybe I should make one. There you go. Are, are you gonna? Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's be honest. Well, I'll get someone else to do it. <laughs> um, uh, so I guess there's been a little bit of an, up- an uproar in the Destiny community. People are upset that there's no new raid coming in the House of Wolves DLC next month. I did a story for the House of Wolves when they announced the date and they put out the trailer and I said in my story, it's really strange there's no raid listed because um, the raid was, there was a raid in the leak and this is just really strange for Destiny and then I cut that line out because I was like, I'm going to put this up and somebody's going to be like, uh, duh, they put it over (laughs) here and I was so scared somebody was going to show me up on it. I cut that bit and then they started putting out stories that were like, hey, no raid and I was like, no! <laughs> Missed opportunity. So yeah, they just don't know enough about Destiny to feel they've, comfortable. They've with that. said that the raid will come later in the year. <sighs> Why? Oh, maybe it was maybe it was broken. You know, they had a lot of problems with Crota. They just wanted to make sure that they put enough polish on this one. Well, is that it? Really? They're gonna? Well, I mean, I'm guessing. We, I don't we, know. Yeah, no I'm speculating. Yeah. But it's like, well, oh man, so many people cheesed the Crota raid. Look at them all getting to the end <laughs> without doing all the work we wanted them to do. Let's just not give them more content for longer. <laughs> I'm excited that that we can talk about you being salty about Destiny again. (laughs) Ah, It's coming around. It'll come around. Um, But yeah, so then they they released a patch this week that adds um, more vault space as well as I think fixes some... uh, That needed to happen because vault space was really getting a little too full. And I think it also fixes some other bugs that are still in the raid besides cheesing like disappearing sword bearers and things of the sort. Oh yeah, that that's awful when that happens. Oh, and they added... Especially if you're halfway through uh, knocking Crota out and then the sword bearer falls to the ground like, well, that was fun. We'll just start <laughs> over. 
And also, they uh, added a new ball to the tower. Really? Yeah. It's um, now we get to the meat of the update. <laughs> a purple ball. Why did they save that for oh, the DLC? Purple ball. The purple ball has been reborn in the tower as an interactive sphere with a parallax energy core that grows with object velocity and tints based off time of day. They really? spent. Huh. All the time they should have spent coming over the story for the game in that little blurb. <laughs> that was way too complicated. I don't have time <laughs> to tell you why I don't have time to explain the ball. Exactly. <laughs> but we will talk about the ball for 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, so um, they're, they're still playing along. When is the release date for House of Wolves? Is it May 19th? Um, yeah, May 19th release. I made a little note here. Look at me. I knew well, I knew in my head I was going to ask that. How made much of note. it? I mean, you'd say the raid's coming, or the uh, the raid would be a later delivery. I don't so. think the raid is technically part of House of Wolves. I okay. think it'll just be a later piece of content. And separate. they have like a new. It seems like a new kind of horde mode type thing. Yeah, I really didn't fully understand the um, the, the explanation for that. It's the um, the prison of elders. Yeah, it's a battle arena called the prison of elders. So, like you said, it's just like a horde mode. It seems like it. That's what everybody's saying about it. So It's a cooperative take, something. That's... I can't take credit for that. I read that <laughs> on the internet. So, um, oh, and there will be weapon damage upgrades, I think, as part of this uh, <clears throat> expansion. So there'll be another like equipment bump, but I, I don't know that anybody's confirmed that there'll be a new higher max level. Mm. No, there was that big leak, but I, I can't recall off the top of my head if, they, if that was part of it. Or not. So Kotaku had, I guess, um, clarification from uh, from Bungie about this. They said, regarding whether the third raid will be included in the expansion pass, Destiny publisher Activision says, we'll announce more details about future raids at a later date. Right now we're focusing on House of Wolves. <laughs> so we're not going to answer the question. We're not going to answer the question. Stay tuned. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if they haven't figured out if they want to charge extra for it or... If they know they're going to do that and just don't want to piss people off further right now. Do you yeah. think they'll pay any more money? Let's see if they'll pay any more money. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's see how mad they are first. <laughs> and then, we'll, uh, and then we'll, we'll either give it as a gift or really become the villains. Well, I mean, you got to, even this late in the game, you've got to really be looking at Destiny 2 at this point. You don't want to completely screw over the community, especially the community of people that went so far as to buy not just the game, but the season pass. Mm -hmm. So... I don't know. I, would, I think that you would still want to stay in good PR standing. No, I feel like they they probably would, you know, include it for free at a future date. But you know, who knows? They're, if they're not saying now, that's definitely it makes me a bit skeptical. Yeah, it's a little strange. Um, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the I'm gonna oh, read the other turn. one. Yeah. Uh, and remind everyone, this episode of the patch is brought to you by Nature Box. Drop the candy bar, drop the potato chips. They're not good for you. Do what I do. Get delicious, guilt-free snacks at NatureBox. NatureBox offers over 100 nutritionist-approved snacks to choose from with the bowl of flavors you crave. Instead of succumbing to the same old vending machine or convenience store junk, get a selection of tasty, crave-worthy options from NatureBox and feel better about snack time. So in the afternoon slump when I'm hungry and irritable, here's what I do. Grab sriracha roasted cashews or Peruvian roasted corn nuts. Those are really good, actually. Uh, or Asiago cheese crackers from NatureBox. They're so good and they're so much better for you than other snack options out there. And I want to give you the chance to try Nature Box for free with a trial box featuring five of their most popular snacks. That's right, free snacks. Start your free trial right now by going to naturebox.com slash the patch. You know you're going to snack. Get smart about it with Nature Box. Go to naturebox.com slash the patch. Get a free trial of delicious snacks. So thank you to Nature Box for the sponsorship and for the delicious snacks. I've got some back here. But I, I made myself... Them. So ill on those sriracha cashews. Ate like a huge. <laughs> those are those are popular. Those disappear right away. No, they were totally gone. Um, yeah, I definitely. You can make so many things red with sriracha cashews. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're they're tasty. Those they're really, really good. good. I love I love sriracha. I feel like sriracha is like one of those things that just came out of nowhere. I feel like it was like ambiguous or not ambiguous. It was like ubiquitous. It was everywhere. You always saw it. Everybody started talking about sriracha. And then all yeah, of a then all of a sudden it was like, oh, sriracha. It's, it's, it's I've like never had milk. sriracha on anything except these cashews. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, no. Did they start like uh, a big PR push for it or something? I mean, you remember, you know, all those milk ads like, mm, drink milk, good for your bones. Like, who, who needs to advertise for milk? Did I feel like sriracha was like the underground. Like, there were people who knew about it. They people just, who ate fun They opened up the coat like, I got four kinds of sriracha yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Red, red, and really red. <laughs> that was only three. Red, was only red, three, redder. Yeah. <laughs> Reddest. We don't talk about the fourth the one. The fourth one is, no, no. That's not for you, gringo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Going back on topic, <laughs> there's a not surprising. There's a new Guitar Hero game in development Is called Guitar Hero Live. Well, they, we knew. Yeah, that it's not surprising at all. They're making another rock band game, right. and that was coming back. So mm -hmm. why not make 
the competing franchise to that and have a comeback there as well. Right. Uh, all right. They're just going to go ahead and bury the industry before it starts up again. Oh, really? Because I really liked Rock Band. And I'm <laughs> excited for it to come. Well, the problem is they got they went too far, right? They they over they overreached. I was yeah? I was that person like a year ago at a party being like Rock Band. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, well, no, I mean it's a great game for that sort of setting, but they they just. It's like they unleashed the floodgates of, of DLC, and then you couldn't even find the game if you wanted to buy it, because there was 9,000 songs. I think Guitar Hero is more guilty of that than Rock Band, Probably, with like yes. Guitar Hero Aerosmith in yeah. the 80s, and Metallica. so many different things. It was just like, put it in a damn game, why don't you? So I think this new version, the Guitar Hero Live, they're, they're going to kind of do that, where it's just going to be like the base game, then all of the add-ons come as DLC, and you can pick and choose what it is that you want. Ah, is that good, though? Should, yeah, I mean, they like, really don't have any restraint. Well, you think about it like you know in the past i would buy you know a rock band or guitar hero game and be like cool i like these few songs and all of those other ones i'm never gonna play them well you play them just to complete them yeah I mean, but then once just out of like oh, i fucking hate this like when singstar came out in the ps4 it's one of the things i was kind of on the fence about but it actually turned out to be pretty cool was the game was free and came with no songs mm -hmm. so you only bought the specific songs you wanted so the game was as cheap or as expensive as uh -huh. as you wanted it to be uh so it's just, it's but everything you had you liked that's true and well i yes and no because i feel like there are some songs that i never would have thought to buy on like a rock band or a guitar hero that i ended up loving like just because i i ended up it introduced me to a new song mm -hmm. that's kind of a smaller case study but. expand your mind get a yeah. get a pack no the, i'm an old man cart thing is is not <laughs> that just makes it too messy yeah, well, uh, yeah, I don't like I don't know the specifics about how they're going to do that. They may have packs as well and, and put stuff in there. The guitar is new though. Yeah, so now it's got six buttons that you use that you activate with three fingers. Oh, there it is. So oh, you only use three fingers, but you move your fingers around across those six buttons. That huh. looks like the first time I have to do two bottom and one top. Go fuck yourself. It's never going to happen. <laughs> well, it's more akin to actually right. real chords. I don't want that. Right. I want. Red, yellow, green, blue, orange. Also, yeah, I mean, that kind of takes away your moving up and down the neck of the guitar, yeah, right? I, I mean, and that's the, sort of the more the feel of playing a guitar so rather I, than I just a hand that's just up here. You say that, but I'm reading the article here that's talking about the game. Now you're playing a cello. That says, um, so they're talking about this. This means you never have to actually use more than three fingers on your fretting hand to play, though you can still move your hand up and down the neck if you're used to it. How? I don't know. They say that, but... Then there's no like just elaboration. Just move it down here. There's nothing there, but it makes you feel like you're really. <laughs> well, part maybe of the... it's like the old Guitar Hero or the old Rock Band controller that had like five keys, and then it had five keys down here. A second set down yeah. here. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but that would be just dumb to do it, right? How is it dumb? I mean, to have in this case, if you've got six buttons up here and the six buttons down here, it's like, why would you ever move your hand? When have you just to be cool? Ever or? resisted the urge to be like me? You can totally Solo. do that. Yeah, yeah, come on. I never did, but now you I'm could. Playing, now I'm shredding. Now I'm playing, <laughs> now I'm shredding. I think you just proved my point, Ryan. This is my whammy bar position. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in reading these impressions of the game, there's other things that they say that they don't elaborate on, which makes me wonder about like the level of camera or connect integration with it. Because, uh, I'm, I'm, again, I'm reading Kotaku's impressions of Guitar Hero Live. They say... The sound is dynamic too. So as you move, uh, and if for people who haven't seen it, you know it looks like first-person view, like you're on a stage and there's a crowd in front of you. So it says the sound is dynamic too. So as you move around the stage, you'll hear louder drums or crowd noise or singing depending on where you're standing. So it's like, hmm. does the character move around on a set path on the stage, or could you move around and the connect track you and then move your That's positioning cool. in it's the game? That's cool. It's almost like a binaural type thing. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I don't know why they wouldn't just use the connect and track you. I also look forward to all the moments when you're walking around on stage, you step out of the play zone, and all of a sudden your character's <laughs> like, <"Nah!" laughs> or just falls over. Well, maybe that's why they wouldn't do it, and maybe it'll be on a set track. Then. Maybe it just it does the full Madonna and just goes off <laughs> the stage. The idea. <laughs> the idea of it being like, move around for extra rock star power, but you're just in your underwear, <laughs> like sitting on the couch. Like. Screw you, Guitar Hero. I'll do what I want. <laughs> Extra rock star points if there's empty bottles of liquor yeah. around. <laughs> Shattered dreams. Cast out, lady. You win. <laughs> I um, maybe you just Millie Vanilli it and have someone up that's your show pony. You just oh. in the back sitting there playing and they're like doing dancing around for you. So the developers for this game are it's uh, freestyle games. It's the same guys who did DJ Hero back at the tail oh, end of the old. That was such old. a hit. <laughs> it was a interesting. It was a cool concept. It was a great concept. Sure. Yeah. 
probably get it on Craigslist for like 12 cents now. <laughs> Somebody and, just hand, please take it from me. Uh, and I think they also did um, some Call of Duty mobile game for China, for the Chinese market. Not selling this to yeah, me at all. So it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see. Um, what a oh, track record. I just remembered. We didn't talk about GTA Five. <laughs> we said we were going to talk about it at the top of the show, and then we just kind of glossed over it very patiently. Not that I mean, again, it's essentially the same game. It's just much prettier now. So, uh, I, I saw that you can run the game in 4K I if mean, you had like dual. There's 980s. a lot of games you can run in 4K. Well, whether the textures are, are 4K ready or not, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's not a lot of call for that yet. There's a few people, I'm sure, that could. Have, have you, a, a home PC that will run 4K and have a 4K monitor. Does your PC on. here no. able to do it? No. No. Sadly, no. Let me uh, hang on. Let's see if I can get uh, two or three or uh, quad video cards set up, and then we'll run it 4K. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it apparently looks really good, and I've heard that the game detects your your hardware and then either locks the frame rate at 30 or 60 frames a second, or tries to lock it as close as possible to that to try to. Give yeah, that does good, seem to be the case, look. which is a little strange, because, uh, I mean, that locking of the frame rate is typically a function of turning VSync on or off. Mm-hmm. Um, and I keep trying to turn VSync off, and I don't think it's working. I, I read some people's impressions saying that without that locking, that the game seemed weird as really? the frame rates were changing. Uh, so it could be just, like, to maintain a visual aesthetic that they're there, trying to lock it. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of flexibility in... in what you're looking at and its impact on the performance. So I can see how it would get kind of strange because I imagine in in certain directions you're looking at, you could be cycling way up into the hundreds of frames per second and then you turn around and catch an extra shadow and you're down to right at V-Sync. Yeah. Um, And also one of the the funnier stories to come out of uh, GTA 5 launching on the PC was the people who were streaming (laughs) GTA 5 during the install process, you know, they're like finishing up their install, they're streaming, getting ready to play for everyone. Apparently, the last splash screen of the install shows you your cereal. So uh, people were watching the stream and then yeah. stealing cereals and then entering it on their uh, computer to take uh, the the streamer's copy of GTA 5. That is so like awful. Part of my worst fear, not to show off a computer serial number, but to have like... Just some horrible person, like my address on my phone when I like go to put it up to my <laughs> ear on a video, and then people know it. Oh. Yeah, and and there's no there's no taking any of that stuff back. Yeah, no, once, it's, it, once it's on the internet. Um, I forgot to read more into this one. I, I put the link in here, but then I didn't actually go through and and do my research on it. Uh, but apparently the 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 PC settings for GTA Five are really in depth. Yeah, there's and, quite a bit, but not that unusual really as well, compared for, to other pc games yeah but for a console port you think it would be easy to skip a lot of that stuff i mean it's a lot of that stuff is probably options that were available to them uh maybe on a dev kit or something they just turn it on or off for the pc hmm. uh i mean it's not like the the options are, are profoundly different for a console they're just usually more restricted right well yeah i mean and then you know what you're getting with a console. So right, the PC, yeah. you have a lot more flexibility to do stuff. Um, and then the other thing that came out uh, as a result of GTA V launching was uh, it's the Rockstar Editor, mm-hmm. which uh, allows you to, uh, you know, make your own films. So I'm, I'm, I'm not... Have you used it yet? Have you looked I've, at I've, it at I've all? seen it briefly. I mean, it's not that dissimilar a feature of from what was in GTA IV. They had the the ability to capture and even recam shots mm-hmm. in GTA IV. I'm not... 100% certain you can recam in GTA 5. It seems like you can, based on, like I watched their demo uh-huh. video and it seemed like you could recam it. The thing I was most interested in was it seemed like if something happened, you could hit a button and it saved yes. your buffer. How big is that buffer that it goes back? That's a good question. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure. So um, that, that, I'd be curious to see that. And it seemed like it came with, you know, very, like we're just showing here, a very rudimentary uh, video editor and you could adjust, you know, various audio levels and add <laughs> titles. text and titles. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's really it's really neat. I think you know you obviously for the work you guys do with Achievement Hunter, you know you have capture cards and editing software, uh, so you don't need a lot of that functionality. But the ability to rewind and recam something would be uh, would be great. Like if something crazy happens, you can mm-hmm. see it from a different angle. Or um... yeah, the recam is definitely would be great. I hope <laughs> it it works as we would hope it would because we would. Uh, there's so many times when those incredible moments happen, you're just you want to see it again from as many angles as you can. Also. One thing we've been kind of avoiding in, with GTA is playing in first person because 
the view that you get with third person is so much better and so much more comedic. Uh, you know, watching your person tumble down and just all the the awful things that happen to your <laughs> online character. Uh, so this would actually be an interesting way to provide both, or we could have first person and still provide that third person look. And this, um, the editor's not out yet, right? Is, or is, is has it been released? You can record clips already. I don't know if the editor's out. Okay. So, all right, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll have to check it out. It's, it's GTA 5. I've been meaning to replay it when it came out on current gen consoles, and I didn't never got around to it. So maybe like this will be my excuse now that it's out on PC. I can actually play it on the PC side. Did yeah, you... I never went back and replayed the single player on, on Xbox One yet. Mm -hmm. It just I haven't had time lately. Did you guys see the no mods on PC? I, I saw a big hoopla about it. I, I did not. I will admit I did not read the article, but people were upset that there were no GTA Five mods on PC. And I will Google that. Now <laughs> that exists or like. Or there's maybe no support not for it a, yet. Like allowed. I mean, no. That's. I believe Hoon House did a video. <laughs> about it. I wouldn't surprise me if GTA Online, especially, is would be very difficult to mod because it has to talk to servers mm -hmm. instead of being just a private game like you could occasionally do in GTA 4. But even GTA 4 had almost no multiplayer mods. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were a few. But I think they were just extremely hard to code. But it would, it's also possible they could open it up for mods at a later date. It's true. Right? Yeah, I mean, they could, it could be they were just trying to get it out the door. And, and that people will see mod support. already modding uh, the PS4 version of GTA to mm -hmm. get uh, additional cars. And they, I, that even showed up occasionally in, in the Xbox version, where mm -hmm. there'd be modded maps that you could get access to things that you ordinarily wouldn't be able to, to see. Apparently, someone wrote that Rockstar did everything they could to prevent modding GTA 5. So at this moment, it is impossible to do anything via editing game files. So all my buddy modders share the same opinion that GTA is short-living like any other game without mods. So I do not care about modding it. Wow. Strong words. Suck Strong it, words Rockstar. from a GTA modder. <laughs> so. um, well, yeah. <laughs> all right. Whatever. I think, I, <laughs> I, think he, I think that person's very upset, but I think they'll get over it. Yeah. Very quickly. And hopefully, you know, the uh, Rockstar will open it up and uh, allow people to add mods at some point. It's a, uh, yeah, I mean, they they had an in, such an interesting concept for how the economy of that game was going to work. And I think that may be why they've locked it down is to try and protect that. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, GTA 4's long, long life was exclusively because of the mod support that mm -hmm. came out with it. Or not came out with it, but the flexibility to mod it. That was inherent to the way the game was created. I've seen some excellent Foon House, uh, Foon House? videos Foon involving the... Uh, the Avengers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the GTA 4 mods. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, we only have, what, like eight minutes, seven, eight minutes left. So I want a couple more things I just want to cover before we go. Um, I don't know if you all talked about it last week, but uh, did you cover the, um, the free-to-play Halo shooter? No, we didn't. That has been released in the Russian only market? Russia. So, <laughs> only. Uh, there's... It's, it's called... What's it called? Halo Online? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's a free-to-play Halo game based on the Halo 3 engine that's been modified uh, that you can only play in Russia. And uh, people, of course, have been trying to hop in there and take a look at it. And it seems like a really strange idea, but most of the feedback I've been hearing and reading about it has been strangely positive. Yeah, and, and, and it seems so strange that they're working so hard to disallow people from to not allow people to bring it outside of Russia. Like, mm -hmm. why? I don't understand I, why copyright, just... I would imagine. Why just Russia, well, though? It also makes me wonder, like, why are they using the Halo name? It, like, how does it fit... Does it fit into the universe? Like, I, I, there's, there's, it's, just, it's just such a, a weird story It's such a me. strange story, it is. I did notice, like, in that video we were just showing, uh, they were playing on a modified version of the turf map from Halo 2. Um, they removed the Rooster Teeth... Uh, uh, vending machines from that map. Rude. Oh, Rude. Well, yeah. now it's a fight. Let's go to Russia. <laughs> Let's throw down. I think that was the first Rooster Teeth Easter egg in any video game where those uh, those vending machines on. And turf. they've ruined our history now. They've ruined it. So we just gone. go find the developers and like slap a controller down on the desk, like throw down. No, oh, they play would, off. They would probably kick my ass. I'm sure they would. Yes. Um, or the you know Russian mob would do it for them. I'm trying to see. Did, did, did they never say? Who the developer is, right? Like, it's not... Well, I, if you I, were making a uh, clear infringement on a copyrighted material, I probably wouldn't announce who the developer was either. Well, this isn't but a, it, it an infringement. But it doesn't seem like it's not... How yeah. is it not an infringement? Not it's a sanctioned. Halo game. Yeah, Microsoft made this. Right. Oh. Yeah, this is, a, this is a sanctioned huh? product. That's yeah. what's confusing about it. Oh, now it makes a lot more confusing. Yeah. So, and, and that, it's a Microsoft who's 
locking people right. out and only allowing people in the Russian market to play it. What an odd market to penetrate. Yeah. Hmm. I don't, it's, it's such a weird story to me. And uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure we'll 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 find out more about it. Hopefully, we'll hear more. Like I, I, the thing I'm most curious about, like like I said, is how it fits into the universe. And if it does fit into the universe, why can't everyone see it? And like, what's the story? Well, I mean, it, if it doesn't fit into the universe, a, why use the Halo name? Is right. it just competitive multiplayer though, or is yeah. there an actual? Okay, so I mean, the, as far as it fits in the universe, it probably fits nowhere. Well, but why not? Why, why not everyone play? <laughs> why can't <laughs> why not everyone, everyone play? play? Or why use the Halo name, you know? Well, that's their licensed material. Why not? Yeah, but... Well, They're what, using what Halo they, assets. What I mean, they, that was the battle rifle. Yeah, but what do they gain from that? You know, if it's a market that they traditionally don't have a lot of traction in? I, I'm actually kind of curious. An introduction into the Halo universe? Like, hey, yeah. you liked that game? Check out our other Halo games. Oh, I wonder if the other Halos even saw a release in, in Russia. I don't actually know what the embargo for that sort of thing is like over there. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I assume it's really crazy expensive since the Ruble had a had well, a bad year last year. The Ruble's not doing great. But, <laughs> it's it's uh, been on the rebound this year. It's not quite as bad, but it had a bad year last year. <laughs> um, I like I like foreign exchange. This is yeah, this is financial talk. <laughs> um, the sadder bit of news from this week. Uh, I forget where this was. I'm gonna look it up. There was a is in Pennsylvania in Pittsburgh. Um, a man got arrested and charged with murder because he went out looking for apartments with a friend of his. His friend disappeared, and then his friend's PlayStation magically appeared in his own home, and he l logged into the dead friend's PSN account. And also killed his dog. Also killed the dog. Uh, so a wit the wit that that brings up the weird this is part. Weird. The so witness. A witness admitted to stabbing the dog and mixing the dog and humans' blood together so that DNA evidence would be harder to get. That doesn't and also sound like helping a him. Yeah, helping him stash the body. But they kept calling him the witness. That sounds the like accomplice. an accomplice. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the use of the word witness in that story is so. That's bizarre. It sounds like the one that took the deal first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the one who has not been officially charged <laughs> with crimes yet, because we can't figure out what the mixing dog and people blood crime is. And <laughs> the dog and... Oh. <laughs> also, does that work? That doesn't work, right? They can still like, extract people DNA. People are not smart. People are not Where do you smart. even get that idea, though? Like, oh, uh, you know what? Oh, this will throw them off. They'll never figure it out. We'll just mix they'll, some other blood in there. They'll never be able to differentiate. <laughs> they don't have blood. that kind of science. No. Technology hasn't come that far. No way. Let's completely ignore the bottle of bleach right there. Yeah, on the... It's like, yeah, put some damn bleach on it. <laughs> doesn't work either. CSI says that doesn't work. Oh, well, good. I'm glad that, that information is <laughs> actually wrong. I wonder how wrong. much on CSI, not to sidetrack, but how much of that is real and how much of they just put in to be like, that's not going to work either. We have not shown you the perfect crime. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Or like, did they tell you shit just to like throw you off? Like that's bleach, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, bleach yeah. actually totally works. Totally works. Yeah, do man. that. Do that, yeah. In the clear. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, TV shows and illegal stuff is always weird to me. Like they talk about how in preparation for Breaking Bad, the DEA showed... Uh, them how to actually make meth. Yeah. Like, why? They don't need to know that. Like, why would you hey, teach them? You gotta know to act properly. I love how some guy at the DEA is like, I'll teach you. I'll teach you how to make we'll meth. We'll do it. <laughs> right now. I, I got a setup. <laughs> We're just, just, just for... You, you want me to show you how to kill a man, too? <laughs> do it. Let's go. If you mix his blood with dog blood, you can get away with it. <laughs> They'll never find it. <laughs> why do they need the DNA evidence anyway? Like, well, of the was... guy that's dead. Fair enough. He was, he was a... Well, I wonder if it was like where they killed him? Like, maybe they did it to, like, so they wouldn't be able to... Oh, look, there's blood all over the guy's house, and no one's seen him for a month. I wonder who's dead. <laughs> you could you could have been... In, you could have worked in the police department. You could have been a detective if this didn't work out. The saltiest detective ever. Ah, oh, great. I wonder who's dead. <laughs> Fill out this form <laughs> in triplicate. <laughs> That'd be great in the interrogation room. Do you know how fucking stupid you are? Let me tell you how stupid you are. Um, all right. So, like, last minute, I'm just going to run through a couple of things here. Um, Splatoon on the Wii U will not have voice chat. Uh, developers say people are, assholes. people are jerks online. Internet toxicity, I think they called it. Uh, new Lego game, Lego Dimensions, uh, which seems like their version of, like, a Skylanders. Uh, you collect Lego people and use them in the game. With Joel McHale in the trailer for no reason at all. Why is he always random Why places? Is he a Why video is game always thing? Joel McHale? Um, GameStop is starting a, t a pilot program to trade in old classic consoles like NES, Genesis. And they're going to do it in 250 stores and see about 
spreading it out. For what? Store credit. Yeah, like Two dollars. I don't know. Um, and most importantly, most important news of the week: Hearthstone is now available for iPhone and uh, Android mobile phones. So you can play Hearthstone so on your on phone. So it was on iPad before. It was iPad and Android yeah. tablets. Now it's on Android and iOS phones as well. They had to redesign the interface. And if you sign up, and I think if you play a game, you get a free classic uh, classic card pack. Hmm. So you may as well do it. Five cards? Ten cards? What are we talking here? What kind of scratch? Um, should be, ugh, I think, five. One, two, Chance of three, rares? Six. What are we looking at? All um, commons? Is be this nomenclature you, that works for this? You might, yeah, it, does, it works. You might have a rare in there. Maybe an ultra rare, but black probably Lotus? not likely. Black Lotus? <laughs> no Black Lotus. <laughs> Different game. All right, well, uh, we got to wrap last up. One. Yay! So thanks for watching Patch Episode oh. 100, everyone. We'll and see you all next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>